channel. If you're new here, my name is Marie and I'm so glad that you clicked on today's video. I have filmed so many different routines for you guys on my channel already, so I thought it was finally time that I would share with you my hair care routine. I do have a lot of hair as you can see, so I do put a lot of time and effort into taking care of it, but I have really narrowed down my routine to the things that I really need. Now I did just finish doing my hair, so that's why my hair is very voluminous. But what I love about this is that it will last for days. Obviously, every day that goes down, they will go down a little more. But then I am just left with just such a beautiful wave. So if I do have somewhere that is more fancy to go to, then I will do my hair the day of. And if I know that I'm going somewhere where I want more of a wave, what I like to do is actually just do this whole routine that I will be sharing with you guys in today's video a day or two before my event. So that then I am just left with a beautiful wave. If you're excited for today's video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these types of videos from me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you are notified every time I do upload a video. I do upload twice a week on Mondays and on Thursdays. Now without further ado, if you want to see what my hair care routine is, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Alrighty, so of course the first thing that I go into is shampoo. Now here's a little backstory about shampoo and I. I used to always buy shampoo from the drugstore because I mean they smell really good and they're really inexpensive the problem is that I used to lose a lot of hair and honestly I thought that was normal until one day my sister actually told me like hey you lose a lot of hair and I realized that was true I always thought it was normal because I do have so much hair so I just thought that when I did put in my shampoo and conditioner that it would be normal to lose so much hair but guys it is not normal when I spoke to my hairdresser she did tell me that it was because of the type of shampoo that I was using. She quickly told me to stop using drugstore shampoo. There are so many chemicals and toxins that they do use in those shampoos and that is why they are so inexpensive. Instead of using some really good ingredients that are just great for your hair, they use some really cheap, nasty, products and that is what makes them so inexpensive so that is when i finally made the switch to higher end shampoos it really is worth it you guys i am telling you i do still buy certain things from the drugstore many things even but this is one thing that i really stopped entirely because i noticed the biggest difference now i won't sit here and say that all high-end shampoos are good that's not the case i have tried like five of them and i have finally found the one that i am obsessed with it is from Redken and it is called the All Soft Shampoo Softness for Dry Brittle Hair. It really does help to hydrate my hair. It actually also has argan oil in here. I am sure you have already heard how argan oil is actually amazing for your skin and how it just hydrates it so much. Well, the same thing for your hair. There is argan oil in this shampoo and it just leaves my hair feeling so soft and hydrated. I really noticed the difference in the shine as well. I do wash my hair every four to five days. I know that is different for everyone. What I love about this shampoo is I can really push it to five days. With the other shampoos that I was using, it would always be every four but I just noticed that with this one now I've been doing it every five which obviously I love I'm not gonna lie it does take a lot of time and effort to wash this hair I do wash it two times if I were to wash it every two or three days I would probably only wash it once but because I wash my hair every four to five I do make sure to wash it two times and I do really recommend you guys doing that too so of course after shampoo comes conditioner but because of the fact that I only wash my hair every four to five days I actually skip the step of conditioner because I actually go in with a mask now if you do uh, wash your hair maybe three times a week I would only suggest to use a mask once a week but if you're like me where you are already only washing your hair one to two times a week then you can do like me and instead of doing conditioner just use a mask this part of the video is actually sponsored by Coco and Eve so thank you guys so much for that today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about their products they did send me three products that I will be sharing with you guys today let's go ahead and start with the first one which is their mask 
mask so it is called their super nourishing coconut and fig hair mask it smells absolutely amazing and leaves your hair feeling so soft and nourished just like it says the two key ingredients in this mask is coconut and fig and this mask can be used for all hair types whether you have very curly hair or more straight hair this really helps to hydrate your hair without weighing it down so basically it helps make it very smooth and soft while still maintaining volume it really helps to treat split ends i have really noticed a difference when it comes to that i barely have any anymore which is just crazy it is 100 percent vegan and cruelty free which i love so what i will do after i finish shampooing my hair is i will take some of this and evenly disperse it all over my hair now because it's a mask you can put it from your roots all the way down personally what i like to do is from the ends until up here I would say so when you do open it up it does come with this little protective lid and then there you have it mm, you guys I can't tell you how good this smells it's not too powerful it's just the most perfect amount of coconut I have been using this for over a month now and as you can see I'm not even halfway done the tub I will leave this mask in my hair for as long as I can they do recommend 10 minutes so basically in the meantime I will just do other things like doing my skincare routine I will shave and then finally all you need to do is just rinse it off and you will notice instantly how much softer your hair really is and what I like to do is wrap my hair in this microfiber towel that they did send me and what I love about this towel is that the specific material that it is it absorbs all of the water out of your hair i'm telling you guys going from a regular white towel to this i noticed the difference right away and then i will go in with their detangling brush which i am actually about to show you now but we're actually gonna go back in time to finish up this video hello guys how do i look <laughs> let's go ahead and take this off so this towel really is amazing. My hair is almost dry. Now, of course, today I did have to put on some makeup so that I could film. Normally, I wouldn't have it, you know, staying in this towel for so long. But this material is absolutely amazing and just soaks up all of that water. Now we have to brush our hair and I will be using the detangling brush from Coco and Eve. It is absolutely amazing, especially that I have so much hair. It gets rid of the tangles right away. Honestly, after you Using that hair mask I don't even have that many tangles it used to take me forever to detangle my hair <laughs> So next, of course, we have to dry our hair. Now, if you are someone that your hair dries really quickly, you are very lucky. For me, it takes hours. We will be using this hair dryer from Revlon. I am not sure of the specific name, but it will be written in the description box. Make sure to go ahead and check that out if you're interested. But what I like to do when I am giving my hair a blowout is I will actually put half of my hair up in a clip. And then I will take pieces like this. Honestly, I wouldn't take too much because then it will take just too long to dry and I, I wouldn't take too little either. I would say, I don't know if you can tell, this is the perfect amount. You'll really have to see with trial and error what works for you. Then I will put it on the high setting and you will see I always go in a downward motion like this. So I always put the brush on top of the hair and turn my hair around like this. And now I'll, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> And I will basically repeat this process over and over until my hair is dry. And just like that, my hair is completely blown out. This took me 10 minutes to do. It's really quick. I really do recommend that blow dryer. I will have it linked down below. Now, as you can see, my hair is pretty puffy. Um, I can go over it again and again to try to tone down that frizz but honestly i don't want to burn my hair for nothing since i will already be going in with another iron i don't want to you know burn it too much if i did want my hair to be straight now i would go in with a hair straightener but because i'm curling it today that won't be necessary so i did plug in my curling iron I got this one a really long time ago. It's from Babyliss. <laughs> I really need to get myself a new hair curler that has an extended barrel for long hair. So I'm just going to put half of my hair up in a clip. Alrighty, then we'll take a piece of hair. Once again, not too thick, but not too thin either. 
depending on the texture of your hair and the type of hair you have and all that you'll have to see what really works for you honestly not all my pieces will be the same size some will be bigger than others it really depends ready so i'll take like this and i will always curl my hair outwards so i'll put the barrel right here and then my hair will go first on top of it and outwards of my face And now I will just leave it like this for 5 to 10 seconds, I would say. And now you don't want to brush it out right away. Let it sit like this. When we are completely done curling our hair, that's when we will brush it all out so it becomes more of a nice wave. Always going outwards. And see, this is the problem. I have long hair, so I always have to like push my hair up so that it fits. <laughs> and just like that, I am done curling my hair. If only it took that long. <laughs> All we are going to do is brush it all out and I'm going to be using the same brush. It like hurts, you know, after all of that work to be brushing it out, but trust me, it will be worth it. I don't know if you can even tell, but it just makes these beautiful, just big curls, which I love. Now, if I had somewhere to go, I would have left them for like an hour before curling them out just because it will help, you know, keep them in place for longer. But since today, I don't really have anywhere to go. <laughs> I'm just going to do it right away. So after you have finished brushing it all out, we are going to go in with a texturizing spray. My favorite one is from Way. I absolutely love it and get it from Sephora. What I love about a texturizing spray versus, you know, a regular hairspray is that this one, just like it says in the name, gives texture to your hair. And I just find it lasts a lot longer too. So I won't put too much. And by the way, this smells amazing. It's literally like a perfume for your hair. today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe learned some new tricks i will have all the products i did speak to you about today in the description box below so make sure to go ahead and check them out if you are interested i had so much fun filming this video for you guys let me know any other types of routines that you would like to see i am planning on actually filming a spring morning routine so that should be coming soon but if you guys have any other suggestions for me don't be afraid to leave them down below in the comments like this video if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more of these types of videos from me don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's it for today thank you so much for watching and i'll just catch you guys in the next one bye